Hi, Mary Tabar here again. My cutting basics today are uh, two and a half inch strips. This is what we're coming, cutting. Two and a half inch strips, what's the best way to cut them so that they're accurate? First of all, let's look at my um, cutting board. My cutting board is 35 by 23 inches, a, a nice size. And um, I sort of recommend that size. These are self-healing mats that if you use a credit card and take off some of those scratches, that helps. I hardly am using the lines on the mat, so I can also use the back of the mat. No, it doesn't look any better than this side, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, my favorite ruler is an eight and a half by uh, 24 and a half inch ruler. I like the width, the eight and a half. This is an eight and a half inch square. I'm gonna be using both of these to square up and cut my fabric. This is a rotary cutter with a new blade. You can get new blades, you can sharpen your blades and always keep it closed when you're not using it. All right, so let's go over a little bit of fabric. I like to wash and dry all my fabric. As you see, I have quite a bit of yardage here. The length of this yardage is about two yards, 36 plus 36. So when I talk about the link, length, that's how much fabric I bought. The length is this direction. It is the strongest part of our fabric. And you can see by pulling it, it doesn't pull too much. Now this is the width of your fabric. The width has more give, right? And then uh, in some applique and some other instances, you might want to use the bias, which is very stretchy. That's the diagonal of your fabric. All right, so now I'm gonna cut it. I have ironed it, washed it, ironed it. Why do I go through that extra step? Well, first of all, fabrics that are, um, have the red dye in it might not be color fast. The, the inks in the fabrics could bleed. All right, so I have folded this salvage to salvage, and that's what um, the fabric was on the loom from these edges. I have folded it in half, and the ideal is just to have one fold. If you fold it twice, you have another chance of not having a straight strip. So now I have that laid out. I know it gets wrinkled pretty quickly, but um, not to worry. I'm gonna use my long ruler here. I feel like I got something underneath here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did have something underneath there. All right, so I'm gonna use this long ruler and straighten it up because this is the edge that they cut for you at the fabric store. And uh, sometimes they rip it and sometimes they cut it. Most of the times now though, they cut it. Ripping is not really that great for the newer fabrics. I see it kind of ruins it. Okay, so I see that this is even down here and I see it's even up here. I wanna be sure that you can see that. Oh, good. So uh, I carefully move my square away and now I'm going to, uh, uh, it's a little late to put this underneath my ruler. That is a rug um, gripper for your floor. So right now I'm just gonna put the weights on there because I don't really wanna move my ruler again. But I'll use that next time. So when I hold my ruler, I like to have one finger off the ruler. It's off the ruler and it's onto the mat. It gives some stability. You can either have your wrist up or down. I prefer my wrist down. It's, it's actually better for your wrist. All right, now I'm gonna open up my rotary cutter. Let's look at this rotary cutter. They're pretty simple. They have a um, safety latch on them. And they also have ridges here for your index finger. We use those ridges to keep our arm nice and straight and your rotary cutter nice and straight. Okay, so I'm gonna start here at the end and go up. And I'm moving my hand just every little bit because it is a long ruler. And now I'm closing my blade and putting it down. I'm not touching this fabric because it's already squared up. So I'm moving this 
and I'm taking that away. Oh, I have such a nice edge. Very nice edge. I also want to tell you my fabric is to the right. Uh, I'm right-handed. This is how I was taught, and this is how I always teach people because I truly believe it's the best cutting method. You're right-handed, fabrics to the right. If you're uh, left-handed, you would be across from me and do things mirror image. I've taught a lot of left-hander, left-handed quilters. So how to cut these two and a half inch strips? Now, do I want to do two and a half, two and a half, two and a half? It seems no. <laughs> This is a more accurate way. Now I'm going to put that little gripper down there and I'm going to go over to seven and a half inches because that's how far my ruler lets me go. I'm going over seven and a half inches and cutting one uh, big strip. I checked it twice. I checked the measurement twice and cut once, right? That's always the saying in woodworking and fabric. All right, so here I go. I'm, uh, my table also is at my waist. My cutting area is at my waist. You don't want to hurt your back. And if you're really leaning over to do a bunch of cutting, your back will be sore. So if you don't have a table that that's that high, you can also get those uh, table lifters. Quite handy. All right, so now I'm gonna cut with my Close the rotary cutter. And now just move your big ruler. That's all you're moving. I'm moving now over to five. I'm gonna keep that down there. So this is five inches. I've checked it twice. Open the blade up, put a little pressure. So that's the first two and a half inch strip. And now this one is gonna cut, this one is at two and a half inches, my ruler. And I'm gonna get the next two, two and a half inch. Well, good. So let's look at these. They are very straight. They're very straight and very nice. So they'll be quite easy to sew together. All right, I hope that you like this little cutting tutorial and um, I enjoyed doing it. Happy stitching.